Hello everyone, this is the Naster Chief One, and welcome to my Croc Let's Play Part 3. We are about to enter the next village, Cossack Village. Well done, Croc! You did very well here. Oh yes, the kingdom is most grateful, but I think you should continue your quest in the cold lands of the Cossack Gabos. I, Swap Me Pete, will take you there. So, yes, that's actually what Croc is doing throughout this game, is trying to find his um, parents um, now that he got an, um, clues and a no note about it. But first things first, we are going to actually um, go back and do the bonus level for Sailor Village. And in my opinion, that is actually a very... Um, mem a very good thing of Croc to actually do. do. <sighs> I wish I could actually um, be with my parents right now, but eh, I don't want to go into detail about that um, and um, and ruin anybody's spirits, of course, um, let, um, watching this Let's Play. So, um, pretty much that's, for the most part, wa water under the bridge, and let's get started with that of the bonus level. Keep in mind that you're going to need all of the Golden Gabo statues for a village in order to unlock these areas. And and yet, it's another mine level. Okay, you're always going to have some random challenge you're going to need to do in order to collect the puzzle pieces for these. As I mentioned in a previous part that this is where you obtain them. Anyway, as I just showed, use the double jump in order to be able to collect all 100 gems up in order to collect these gems. Once again, surfing on a mine car. <laughs> Anyway, um, anyway, you're going to have to use a double jump to get up, up to the top of this if you want to collect all of the gems for this level. So, yeah, form a double, ex an excellent double jump, um, and then come up here to collect the gems. Um, in reality, um, collecting 100 gems and the puzzle piece is all you really have to do for these, um, bonus, for the bonus levels. Well, that is unless Croc already has all, all of his health restored, which... For me, I already had all six hit counts restored. Anyway, um, secret levels will get actually um, a lot harder as you progress on um, through the game. Well, secret areas, but you get, still get my point. Jerk. <laughs> I really wish that they had different soundtracks for um, similar themed regions, but uh, oh well.
anyway, keep in mind that, um, as you can see from the cage, we need to find that key. And, it, and as I remembered, I didn't nab the key yet, so I have to look around and try to find it. Thankfully enough, I remembered that I forgot to ride on one of the mine carts in order to be able to acquire the key. Yeah. Yeah, that mine path is actually um, really simple and it's fun too. <laughs> Real fun. Those pink Dantini Blaster guys will appear crap loads of time throughout the entire game. Let's stop! <laughs> I'm gonna get you! What just happened? curious as to why I might speak um, the way I do for Croc or narrate him that way, it's because, as you can tell, Croc ha does have parents, so thus Croc is pretty much just only like a little kid. Well, well not really a little kid, probably just a kid. Eh, probably, uh, I assume, assume maybe seven, maybe eight years old, perhaps. And with that, we have collected the first puzzle piece for um, the game. Happily enough, oh. all the gobos think that way. Kind of surprises me to think, though, that the gobos on this island would even know who in the world Croc is. Well, I guess the other gobos told, um, told all the other gobos on the other islands as to who Croc was. Well, after, of course, saving them from Baron Dante, um, Dante and the first Croc, well, well, the first co couple of gobos, it surprises me also that Gobbos actually wear clothing in this game. Swap me pizza that guy! <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that, actually. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Swap me pizza, blah, 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 blah guy. Gobbo can't find and finish Snowman! Antini's hid the pieces around here somewhere! He's so naughty! Um, Snowman needs a nose, hat, and arms! It would look so lovely with those! <laughs> uh, and all the pieces are pretty easy to find. Just explore around the entire um, village and you're sure to find them. Just look around every nook and cranny, alright? Anyway, you definitely know know it's a kids game when somebody when the character or one of some of the gobbles say naughty. This 
lava lamp Larry ship he closed to redecorate be open again soon can't wait <laughs> a guy named yeah as you can see some of the gabo children um in this area and yes even though they use the word naughty um yeah some of the gabos actually are adults i don't know why but yeah yeah they're yeah they are and um if there's of course children um who decide to throw little snowballs and whatnot at you Hooray! Crack found them! Gabo can't finish the snowman now. can finish the snowman now! Here, take these! And with that, we have just gained up to 800 cash, which is very nice. Contest with the Antinis, but Snowman's head not ready. Croc, take the head to the Snowman's body. Don't know how Croc do it in time, though. Croc will ride it there. We will accomplish that later. First, I want to do this one because it's an easy one. Croc, Gobo's trapped on high cliffs. Gobo's not able to get up there. Maybe Croc can get up there. You strange a hatcher glider left by mysterious Gabba with big glasses! <laughs> oh, I wonder who that could be. <laughs> well, anyway, this glider mission is actually, in my opinion, one of the funnest um, missions in the game. And it's so easy. I love it. I really do. Trust me. This level is so simple to not only collect all the gobbles, but also all the colored gems in order to acquire the uh, golden gobbo statue. This is why I wanted to do this one first, because like I just said, it's pretty simple. Uh, not compared to maybe two other levels, well two other areas um, in the Cossack Village region that are actually pretty, not a t pretty tough. Well, one is, um, yeah, they're pretty tough. I mean, I'll say one thing. For um, normal gamers, they'll think one of the challenges is hard, and they'll think that the other one is infuriatingly very hard. Which I will go into detail um, a little later into the video as to um, which ones I believe that, that to be. never hang glided before. Sounds like a fun experience, but nope, never experienced it. Anyway, I think Cossack Village really fits the theme that a lot of people in the United States are feeling of right now. The cold, snowy weather and stuff. <laughs> anyway, um, I've realized one thing. Try and actually um, land a little bit more forward. Um, croc to be able to receive all 100 gems for um this level and this is the coolest thing you can actually replenish all of croc all of croc's um health by doing this which i find to be very nice anyway Let's begin with the level I said that seems that's quite ha that's actually hard, like I mentioned before, um, the snowball level. So I will see you there. Okay, um, everyone. If you're curious, yes, I did lose a few um, hit counts when it came to this level, but this is one hard level. You're probably wondering why, but you really have to um, really um, move the analog stick quite carefully in order to help guide this giant, um, giant um, snowball, which is supposed to be the head of a huge, um, huge big ass snowman that um, that the gobbles um, are um, need in order to win a snowman building contest against the Dantini. <laughs> 
truly, truly, a pretty, once again, enough kind of a, a really ridiculous concept, but of course it's an old-fashioned video game. There was always a lot of silly, ridiculous concepts back then. Anyway, if you're curious how I'm so good, is good with this, it's because, for the most part, it's because um, I have really gotten the hang of this again, controlling this snowball. However, keep in mind, you still gotta move quite slowly when it comes to these sharp ones right here, right here, and to be pretty darn extra careful like I am, moving the left analog stick quite slowly in order to be able to accomplish this level. Trust me, your biggest enemy in this level, and it's the biggest part, thing that's going to be a major pain in the ass, is going to be um, being very careful not to fall into the bottomless chasms you see below you. But fortunately enough, I was able to collect both the color, uh, color gems and all 100 gems to revive my health for this level, so that's great. I, geez, I remember building snowmen, snowmen in the past. And, past when I was a little kid, but this takes it to a whole new level. If you're curious, I've never really been um, skiing or hang gliding, only because I've really never had the opportunity to be able to. But keep in mind, much used to snowy um, climates because I live in a northern state, northern state, uh, where it's mostly snowy a lot of the time. And, uh, yeah, I died. But oh well, Who really gives a crap. <laughs> so yeah, I'm used to these cold conditions. So in reality, Cossack Village um, not only relates to the time of the time of year occurring. But also, in addition to that, it kind of inter um, relates to usually the conditions I experience, I experience here in Michigan. Oops, sorry about that, but I'm not going to say where I live exactly. Anyway, as you saw before, be pretty darn careful in that one little part to get the heart and the gem piece can be pretty tough. There's a lot of these fin, um, these fin pathway segments that are pretty big pain in the butt. Anyway, because you're riding on a snowball, the gongs are actually floating on, on balloons um, when you hit them, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah. This is why cave gamers will find this level to be hard. You're probably wondering to yourself, so what is that level that's actually um, will be considered very hard for this um, for this work village? Well, I have it. Well, it's coming up, coming up actually, which I will get to soon. But we'll be going through another little area before we reach that when it comes to Cos the Cossack village. Do 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 do
Rising in the level. And another job well done. <laughs> yep. Yahoo! Yep, definitely celebrate, Croc. You deserve it after that madness. Thank you, Croc! No problem! Okay. Um, for the next level, I really tried to get all the color gems for it, but, um, I'm gonna have to show my... I'm gonna have to actually, um... Show, sh I'm just going to show off um, where the Golden Gabo statue arrived and show off um, what the challenge is that you're going to experience for it. Because pretty much, pretty much in the down run, I actually um, tell you how to obtain the gem no problem. Quick! Crack! Gabo's been trapped in ice caves! Please save them! Okay! Croc, rescue them, quick! But first, we need to actually buy um, the last of the jump of the jump gummies from Swap Meat Pete, alongside with that of a clock, um, some Clockwork Gobbos that we're going to need for the later levels. Hello, Croc. I decided to buy another heart pot because you're going because you're going to need it. Yes, I take it. I really, I well, the thing of it is, I decided to buy one more of these because you're, you're going to need about at least three of these blue um, gummy jumpers. Yes, I take it. But I guess I decided to buy an extra. If you're curious, I had the cash, so I decided to buy others. Wild berry damage savers jumps for long jumps, a mere 80 crystals. Make sure you buy the right gummy saver jump for the job. Yes, I take it! Okay, um, alright, just keep in mind, mind that these gummy saver jumps, um, actually give Croc some really added on, some really added on height. Some really, these, yeah, some really added on height when it comes to these purple light, lifesaver gummies. So be pretty darn careful because, um, if because Croc could really hurt himself, it hurt himself if he were to not land on his target or his destination. In other words. Anyway, as you can see, the entrance is actually iced off. Iced off. So how do we get out of here? Well. Um, the solution is actually um, frozen in a block of ice. Anyway, it's time to use the purple um, gummy life sa lifesaver jump. And actually, oddly enough, this is the only time in the game where you're even going to have to use one of these. I'm not joking you. This is the only time. Like I said, be very careful when conducting this jump because you're because even with a purple um, lifesaver gummy, you got a pretty far distance to get to. But thankfully enough, I climbed up there and got the gem. And as expected, this is also important to get all 100 crystals yet again. Oh yeah, um, before, um, make sure that you actually push this ice block a little bit forward so you, so Croc can be able to obtain this yellow gem before placing it on the button.
Well, I mean, move the ice block a little bit so you can, uh, so you can collect the yellow gem before um, he places it on the button. And this button will help rise the bridge, but as you can see, um, we don't have any objects to place here. Thankfully enough, the solution is actually right underneath our feet. jump exactly so you can be able to collect um, this color gem right there. It is the only way to acquire it. I tried getting it any other way, but the box is the only thing that gives Croc an extra height, um, height or boost and jump in order to get it. He's Gabo's best friend! <laughs> well, that's nice to hear. <laughs> Yes, that's, act that's actually one of the cool things about this level is that when you free the gobbles, they actually help you in proceeding on ahead he to push this, to actually push this ice block across um, certain, certain objects and whatnot, and also to help um, overcome some obstacles that are in your path. Like, for example, the next obstacle, which is actually a um, tree that's in our way. So, it's time to go spelunking yet again! In order to save another gobble! Shazam! Once again, breakable crates. One of Croc's biggest threats returns. The terror. <laughs> to the breakable crates we have the slowly collapsing platform platforms thank you thank you If it wasn't for the camera angle, we would have actually been able to see that. Oh, that so reminds me of what I have to do as a ch I'm kind of kind of in some ways as a chore. As a chore. Yes. Um once again, here is the Clockwork Gabo stage, and instead of going after the heart piece, it's more important to go after this green gemstone. And of course, if the Clockwork Gabo has enough energy, maybe the heart piece, but of course it didn't. Yes, the next obstacle is this metal revolving bri bridge with all these gears.
Let's see what new obstacles befall Croc this time. Actually, a part that is um, one of the more harder and more effing, effingly annoying um, segments. I like to call. I like to call the stupid trying to grab onto the rope at the exact at, at the exact moment while being concerned about a collapsible platform. Joking myself, this was a pain in this was a pain in the butt, kind of. Thankfully enough, I didn't lose all my heart pieces. Anyway, anyway, thankfully enough, they do give you a nice, safe platform to land land on halfway through this. <sighs> yet again, yet again. I, I managed to make the wrong move because sometimes I don't know whether or not I'm just supposed to release with the square button or just press with the X button. But I made it. I made it though. I was able to figure it out. So yes. Croc! He's Gabu's hero! Well, you could actually say that Croc is considered the hero of all Gabos for what he's already done. <laughs> anyway, this is a perfect example of what I meant by gelatin acting as plot jump platform. Croc, stop spinning bridge! Croc, push ice block over! It's time to check, check up that gear bridge by using my crowbar! <laughs> this is heavy! <laughs> I don't know if anybody will know what that what that's a reference to, but <laughs> let me continue on. This is heavy! Uh, uh, uh. Come on! Um, if you can't do it, uh, uh. <laughs> come on! <laughs> anyway, use this explosive barrel and throw it to free this Gabo trapped behind the boulders. Gabo, happy! Crack save! Work. Quick check, crack, jump on top! <laughs> and nicely enough, it actually goes right off the lift instead of Croc having to push it off, which is pretty nice of them. Croc saved Gabos! Gabo get TNT out of Ice Block! <laughs> sure, that that makes sense. Um, I'll chop away the ice block using using my that tiny little axe um, that is so much bigger than myself. <laughs> but either way, way now that that now that it's free, don't drop the TNT um, barrel or or anything. Otherwise, you would never be able to get out of out of this level. Really. Anyway, I'm just gonna cut. Cut now to actually when I successfully collect all the color gems. Thank you, Croc! No problem! When I actually collected all the color ge um, gems and collect the Golden Goblin statue, so I'll see you there. Okay, everyone. Um, it is time to complete the Golden Gobbo challenge. Keep in mind that um, once I was, I actually did that expertly, but that could actually be a lot more um, tougher th than it looks. Um, but still, I collected the third Golden Gobbo statue for this area, so I will cut now um, um, and proceed on ahead to the um, next um, 
little area of the village. Okay, um, I am about to, um, begin the next, um, next little level pretty darn soon. And, oh boy, this is the one I was talking about that, um, is actually pretty tough. So, so let me speak with the gobble. That big meanie Roger went in, he kidnapped gobbles, tied them all to crates of dynamite. He's going to blow them all into the next week if crap not stop him. So yes, a bad guy aside from, um, aside from the Dantinis. And he's actually working with them. I'm Roger Red Ant, and I'm going to blow you to smithereens. If you're curious as to why, why I actually, um, didn't buy any new items, it's because we have everything we need for this le level from what I already previously bought from Swap Me Pete. Anyway, the reason why this level is so darn tough is because, um, Roger Red Ant actually introduces several different random challenges that can be kind of a big pain in the ass, especially in one area. Not only that, some of the jumps for this can be pretty tough, given that you're going to have to sometimes carry crates of explosives, because this guy loves explosives. Let's have some fun. Try to get the bomb box to the end of the corridor before it goes kaboom. You better be quick. Man, Roger Red and jeez, jeez, what an, what an, what an evil messed up guy this is. Clearly. You have one sick hobby if you enjoy blowing stuff up, especially, especially people. Ha! These bomb boxes will go kaboom if you touch them, but you're not quick enough. I bet I am. And with that, I saved the gabo. Anyway, collect, make sure to jump on these boxes before they blow up and collect these gems. Anyway, yeah, I know I'm going through this pretty fast, but I've really gotten experienced at this after experiencing several deaths with this. Let's have some fun. Try to get the bomb box to the end of the corridor before it goes kaboom. You better be quick. Don't worry if he don't worry about whether or not he repeats this too often near the beginning. Um, he actually only does this twice for each area that you'll experience. Big bo boom box is gonna go kaboom. Girl, Croc better not smash my timer switches. Yeah, and what's gonna stop what's gonna stop Croc from doing doing such 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 thing, you um you insect? Oh boy. <laughs> gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. <laughs> The pressure is intense, isn't it? Only ten seconds left to go. Nine, eight, seven, six. Okay, now we got more time on our hands. <laughs> oh boy. And with that, we have saved yet another Gabo from 
from this um, lunatic um, bombers bombers crazy game. I'm Roger Red. We don't really need to hear that again. Anyway, jump on top of the gong actually in order to um, reach this secret area because this is the only way you can be able to collect all the colored gems um, for this area. I was actually happy to say I collected all the colored gems despite this being the most toughest um, little area for Cossack Village. My rolling barrels will make Croc go kaboom! Thankfully enough, this is actually um, the easier out of the two um, random challenges for the second room. It's pretty simple to dodge these gigantic explosive barrels. Just wait until um, they roll past you and then move forward. Anyway, yes, I know, it's quite overwhelming to actually see Croc having to make those kind of jumps while holding a crate, but it's necessary. Ha ha ha! More rolling barrels and my Dantini friends will make Croc go kaboom! Well, they're not doing a very good job at it, that's for certain, Roger. Be even more careful when it comes to these jumps, as you can see. You're going to experience more of these, more of these um, before, so um, be very careful. As you can probably tell, landing in a lot of the lava in this level, aside from experiencing the massive explosions that cause croc hit points, is um, another reason why this is the hardest um, area for Cossack Village. <laughs> kind of forgot that I had one more area to go. Uh, probably because I because this next area is is the one I despise the most. Yes, pretty much red versions of those pink shooter guys. Watch out for my swinging fireballs. <laughs> Oh boy. And oddly enough, these fireballs are actually swi- um, are just plain fireballs swinging in the a air like they're actually connected to a chain or something. How are they doing that? Magic and- ugh. You get what I'm talking about? Get what I'm now talking about having to dodge those fireball things? Pain in the butt. But oh well. Oh well, I do get it eventually through this, but trust me, this part was the biggest pain in the butt of all. Anyway, if this part runs a little bit too, um, too longer than 45 minutes like the last part did, I'm sorry about that, but um, Roger Red Ant's area um, is pretty darn tough, and if it wasn't for how hard this level was in some ways, I probably would actually have gotten this done a little bit faster. Trust me, you'll have to time this pretty correctly in order to avoid those. But thankfully enough, I was able to do that, and I recovered my health. Anyway, oddly enough, Roger Red Ant doesn't actually t say anything to us for this one. 
one. But this is still tough too because if you're trying to collect all 100 gems, you'll see all these um, overwhelming steam vents. Try and time it right when it comes to these movable platforms, which is actually a new feature for the Croc games because um, these platforms, these movable levitating platforms that you can control yourself have never occurred before. And, and unfortunately enough, I did something so retarded, and like I said, is probably the reason why this video is so much longer than it should be. Yes, 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 swinging fireballs, we get the point. <laughs> again. There, I was finally successful. I'm tired of you, Croc! You won't succeed this time! Ooh, oh, uh, uh, hey, hey, hi. oh really? I bet I I bet Croc will. Anyway, the reason why I'm avoiding um those areas is so I can actually have more time with the clockwork gobbo in order to collect the color gem. But unfortunately enough, I didn't realize that just following path forward actually um, give me a boost in height, probably because those turns waste up time for the Clockwork Gabo. But thankfully enough, I bought another one, so it doesn't really matter. And with that, the purple gem has been collected. Oh boy, will I make it? Nope. <laughs> yeah, and this is probably the part that's really frustrating. They don't even give you a checkpoint. Checkpoint when it comes to this. Near the last part. Yeah, we get it. You're tired. Um, you're tired of croc foiling your, foiling your scheme, foiling your explosive little schemes and whatnot. Even though in reality you're, you're one sick bastard for what you do. Um, um, in the sense that you're insane and willing to kill off, um, creatures for your own fun and amusement by using explosives. And pretty much is a dangerous hobby. A very dangerous hobby because um, there's no doubt in my mind that um, if you play with explosives, there's a chance you're going to get hurt in the process. Anyway, be very careful when it comes to this, especially this last part with this swinging fireball. But of course, unfortunately, I didn't avoid it. Um, because of the collapsible crates and stuff, but I didn't actually fall to my my death in the lava, thankfully enough. I just lost one hit count, and that's actually very fortunate. Okay, thankfully enough, these next two parts aren't actually nearly as hard as that one um, challenge to, to the left in the second room was. This fuse is going to blow! You, your gobble friend, Ooh. sky high! Ooh. Oh. Not if Croc has anything to say about it. Yeah. 
Yes, make sure you um, take that path, otherwise um, you're gonna barely um, reach the go your Gabo friend in time in order to before the fuse reaches him. This fuse is going to blow your Gabo friend sky high. And what in the world is Roger Red Ant even riding, for crying out loud? Um, a levitating hover car or some Hover car? Or like hover scooter? Really? Jeez. Well, thankfully enough, with Croc, I didn't actually uh, land in the lava so much that I had to restart this segment, which is very nice. And with that, I, I freed the last Gabo. So now all we have to do is pretty much beat this level. Yet ending, yet ending the level Roger Red Ant. And trust me, what a frustrating level this was. You have fallen into my trap, little croc. Take this, huh? What's wrong? Gobbles, we want water palm! Roger, go kaboom! Oh no! Well, that serves that maniac right for what he has done. Well, anyway, this has been the Master Chief One, and I hope that you have enjoyed my Croc Legends of the Gobbles walkthrough part three, and I'll see you in part four. Thank you, Croc! No problem! So, goodbye. <laughs>